Welcome to pre-math. In this problem, if x square minus 17x plus 59 equal to 0, then we are going to find the value of x minus 5 whole square minus 1 over x minus 5 whole square. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. In order to solve this problem, we have a couple of options. First option is to find the value of x in this equation and then plug it over here to find the value of this expression. And we know that task is not going to be easy one. So therefore, we are going to be little creative and think outside the box. So therefore, we are going to manipulate this equation. Let me go ahead and tweak this 59. I can write 59 as 60 minus 1. It doesn't make any difference whatsoever. And here in this next step, I have replaced this 59 by 60 minus 1. And now let's go ahead and move this uh, negative 1 on the right hand side. So we ended up with x square minus uh, 17x plus 60 equals to positive 1. Now we are going to find the factors of this quadratic part on the left hand side. I am going to tweak this negative 17x. I can write this one as negative 5x minus 12x. And now we can see that x is in common between these first two terms and here negative 12 is in common between these two last two terms. So therefore we can factor out x over here. So we got x minus 5 and here let's factor out negative 12. So we got x minus 5 equals to 1. And here we can see x minus 5 and x minus 5 is in common. So therefore I can write this thing x minus 5 times x minus 12 equals to 1. And now let's go ahead and divide both sides by x minus 5 over here and x minus 5 over here. And here we can see x minus 5 and x minus 5 is gone. So we ended up with x minus 12 equals to 1 over x minus 5. And now let's go ahead and tweak this negative 12. I can write negative 12 as negative 5 minus 7. And here in next step I wrote down this negative 12 as negative 5 minus 7. Doesn't make any difference whatsoever. And now let's go ahead and move this negative 7 on the right hand side and at the same time this fraction on the left hand side. So therefore our this equation could be written as x minus 5 and then when we bring this fraction on this side become negative 1 over x minus 5 equals to on the right hand side negative 7 is going to become positive 7. Let me go ahead and call this our equation number 1. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this equation 1. And here I have copied it down. And now we are going to make a substitution to make our job easier. Let me go ahead and call this part x minus 5 as an a. And this part 1 divided by x minus 5 as b. So let's call a equal to x minus 5 and b equals to 1 divided by x minus 5. Then our this equation is going to become simply a minus b equal to 7. Let me call this equation 2. Now let's go ahead and multiply a times b. Let me go ahead and put down a times b. In our case a is x minus 5 and b is 1 over x minus 5. They cross each other out. So therefore our a times b is going to be simply 1. Let me call this as our equation number 3. And now let's focus on this uh, expression over here x minus 5 whole square minus 1 over x minus 5 whole square. And we know that a equals to x minus 5 and b equals to 
1 over x minus 5. So therefore this expression is going to look like a square minus b square and we are going to find the value of this one. And now let's recall this famous identity a square minus b square. So therefore I can replace this one a square minus b square as a minus b times a plus b and we are going to find the value of this expression. But we know our a minus b value is 7. So therefore I am going to replace this a minus b by 7 and now our job is to find the value of a plus b now and now let's recall this identity a plus b whole square and likewise we have another identity a minus b whole square and now let's go ahead and subtract this bottom equation from the top one let me go ahead and change the sign negative 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 and this negative become positive and here we can see this a square negative a square is gone this b square and minus b square is gone so we simply ended up with the a plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square equal to 4 a b and now our a minus b value is 7 so therefore I'm going to replace this one by 7 and likewise a times b is 1 so therefore we got a plus b whole square minus 7 square equals to 4 times 1 and this could be written as a plus b whole square minus 49 equals to 4 and now let's add 49 on both sides this is gone so we simply ended up with a a plus b whole square equal to 53 let's go ahead and take the square root on both side so this square square root is gone so our a plus b value turns out to be square root of 53 and now let me go ahead and call this our equation number four and here's our final step we figured out our a minus b value which is 7 and a plus b value from equation 4 is square root of 53. So thus our final value turns out to be 7 times square root of 53. So thus our value for x minus 5 whole square minus 1 over x minus 5 whole square turns out to be 7 times square root of 53. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.